not sure how well this will work, really. Um, welcome to to uh, welcome to my dirt shed. Well, a dirt shed is a tool shed where you keep your bike, bike in my case, uh, bike sisses. Anyway, okay, Steve Buscemi. I just read that he was accosted and punched in the face in New York City. That's really unfortunate. Uh, I think he's a pretty good guy. I enjoy his movies. I met his brother one time. We had a long conversation. Um, and that's it. Steve's a real deal. Uh, that aside, uh, let's talk for a second about being punched in the face. Uh, if you've never been punched in the face, I kind of recommend it. Uh, it's, it's invigorating. Um, I've been punched in the face, I'm going to say, 10 times in my life. Maybe more, maybe less. I'm, I, now, I don't mean like punch in the, in the course of an altercation. I just mean straight up punch. Uh, unexpected, unwarranted. Uh, and you might be thinking, what did that guy do that he wound up over the course of his lifetime having that happen 10 times? Well, 10 times is not that much. It's about every five years. And then you have a bit of a flurry when you're maybe younger and more outspoken. Maybe you deserved it a couple times, I don't know, but getting punched in the face, I'll tell you, wakes you up, makes you feel you're alive, uh, as long as there's no, you know, lasting harm. Well, in my case, though, I must say, uh, I think I had a few broken things, uh, nose, jaw, for sure, uh, and that was an experience, let me tell you, I had my jaw uh, well and truly broken in a couple of spots, and uh, needed some repair work. The repair work was... Uh, much more traumatic than uh, the actual injury. Uh, the, uh, so what happened was my <laughs> broken. So then when you close your mouth, you close your mouth like this, it's called occlusion. You're, it's all straight. Uh, you get a good break. Maybe it goes like this. So that's what happened. And so I went to the doctor, uh, a couple doctors. First doctor I went to uh, after having uh, delayed the whole affair for about, gosh, how long? Two days, two days, no eating, no sleeping, and it kind of hurt to breathe. So finally, I go to the hospital, I go to the doctor, and it was a, the doctor happened to be a kind of a girlfriend of mine. Uh, she was a very, very nice person. And, uh, it, and of course, I go to the hospital at like two or three in the morning, and that's it. So uh, at x-ray, and she's like, oh yeah, it's broken. So then I go later to the, uh, a different doctor, to a specialist, a, a maxillofacial surgeon. Whereupon I got a, uh, uh, a panoramic x-ray and detailed the damage more precisely. And the gentleman, that's where I heard the first word, the word occlusion. The gentleman explained that uh, plan A was you could do nothing, in which case you would never be able to really eat properly the rest of your life. Uh, and plan B was, well, we can kind of create a cast for your face. Uh, and that was a joy to behold, let me tell you. So I go back to the hospital to Mr. Uh, Maxillofacial Surgeon, and uh, so uh, the, the remedy consisted of a, basically it's a steel plate here and a steel plate here, and then they weld the whole thing together with wires, and the wires, uh, to get them to hold, they went inside your gum, through your jaw, around your jaw, back out, and tied it up like a twisty tie, like you're going to do with an old school garbage bag. Well, that was traumatic, getting it on. But getting it in uh, consisted of uh, local anesthesia coupled with uh, what I was told was Demerol. Now, I'm not a pharmacist and I'm not an expert on drugs, but I'll say that my only comment during the procedure of having this thing installed was, could you please turn the music up? Uh, I don't think he did. Anyway. So that happened. Uh, at the time, it was a long time ago, I was, I was working happily at a McDonald's and then the, the, the woman who was his, uh, his assistant, a nurse, uh, she, had a, she had a family and a, a child who was of McDonald's birthday party age and she was coming to McDonald's birthday parties on a pretty, re pretty regular basis and I'd see her, she was very nice and we'd chit chat. Anyway, fast forward a whole bunch of time and uh, I'm getting this thing removed. <laughs> well, let me tell you. <laughs> so what happened was I was like, oh, uh, take it off. I thought that, well, if you put it on under the influence of drugs, I figured you'd take it off under the influence of drugs. And now if you've ever untwisted a 
metal twist tie from a garbage bag, after you've twisted it, you'll notice that it's no longer smooth and pure and pristine. Now it's kind of corrugated and crusty and kinked. And so <laughs> the removal method consisted of uh, the maxillofacial surgeon uh, leaning on your head with this hand, set of pliers in this hand, untwisting these things and then going, Unk! and uh, then of course, uh, blood and tissue flying all over the place and fell in the room. It was, it was traumatic. And, uh, oh, I mentioned there was, there were no drugs. So this went on for a while because it was about uh, 10 of these things in the top and 10 of these things in the bottom. And, uh, I, I think, uh, in my present frame of mind, I mean, like my frame of mind that I have right now, I'd have gotten up and left. But, uh, anyway, this, this happened. So eventually, uh, it's all removed, it's all good, and uh, then I gained back the 40 or 50 pounds that I lost, whatever that was. I'm not sure. And, uh, and I've since gone on to gain a couple of extra kilos all on top of that. But uh, what does this have to do with anything on this channel? Nothing. Oh, well, I'll tell you one thing, though, is that I was talking to another friend of mine who is a really good guy. I, th I think he's a good guy. Uh, I've known him for more than... Tw how long have I known? 25 years? And uh, so we're talking about my YouTube videos and he happens to be um, really, no kidding, a Canada's foremost film critic. And I, and what we're in the course of our conversation, which was not about his videos, we're actually talking about a personal dilemma he was having of whether or not he should go to the Cannes Film Festival, uh, whether it would be worth the trouble. I'll tell you, if I had the choice of going to the Cannes Film Festival, it's not a not a choice at all. For me, I'm going, in case you're, in case you're wondering. So anyway, we talked about that, and then uh, whatever happened, and he winds up seeing a couple of these videos and uh, and such, and, and he, what he said was story. You know, we need story. I, I don't think, I, I've actually, I have purposefully, purposefully been avoiding story, trying to not have story. And I thought, well, geez, I've been thinking about this and I don't know if that's really a good idea or not. I mean, I had my, my reasons at the time and my reasons were that uh, I didn't want to tell a whole bunch of stories where, or even illustrate through a bunch of stories where kind of I'm the central figure and kind of by default, I make myself the hero and tell you a story where it's saying, geez, aren't I great? Uh, kind of wanted to avoid that. But uh, in the interest of things being interesting, why not? Although really, uh, I want to just cut through that and just get to, this is what we should do. This is what we should do, okay? You know, I've spent a lot of time thinking about something, studying on something. I've had personal experience that I've exercised through, through options. I've had personal experience that, that defy belief uh, in, in circumstance and has led me to the frame of mind that I have now in my <laughs> a middling older age. And, uh, and then I, I thought that what I would do is I'd make these videos and attempt to save a couple of people the trouble of having to live through that experience. But one experience that you might want to, it might seem like really unpleasant at the time, but you know, getting punched in the face. No, oh, by the way, I want to say, if you see me on the street and you think, hey, that's the guy that said getting punched in the face is kind of good. And you think, oh, I'm going to show him, bam, punch him in the face. Please don't. I've had my fill. I know what it's like. It's not, it's invigorating. And I've had it enough times that I, I've been invigorated. So that's in the past, right? Uh, anyway, oh, my name's Bruce. This is my channel. Yeah, I know there's been a, a kind of a delay in, in uh, making videos, but uh, I'm human, you're human, we're all human. Uh, I haven't found anyone yet that's perfect other than, well, I'm not gonna say she gets some sense of But uh, that's it, uh, thank you very much. Um, you can subscribe if you like. Uh, if you don't wanna subscribe, just subscribe anyway. Why not? Really? Uh, the subscribing thing, it's, it, apparently it's kind of a big deal for this YouTube stuff, but um, I'm me.